Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, how to uh, how to handle variables between uh, between classes or how to change a widget that's in this class but we change it from this class from this screen so we're gonna access this screen and change the widget and change something in in a widget that's inside this screen okay and uh, vice versa of course so let's just get rid of this and uh, you can find the you can find the previous video of changing screens in, uh, in my channel okay so now let's uh, uh, that's our first screen so let's just start the app you can see so you can see what what's happening so this is our first screen and now we can switch to the first screen on click on this uh, when clicking on this button and we can go back to the first screen when clicking on this button okay so now we have to we have to define a widget. We have to define a widget so so that we could be able to handle it from the second screen and vice versa. Okay. So let's say uh, let's say uh, label. Okay, and uh, let's give this label. Uh, let's just copy this and paste it here. Okay. And. Uh, Let's change this this and say uh, let's say widget to be changed. Okay, and for the height, let's give it an O thirty five. Okay, and the same here. Okay. Okay, for this we have to add something else. We have to add an ID. So ID, let's say just LB, and uh, the same here. And uh, and to clarify something, this LB, this ID belongs to this screen. So the 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 ID when we call self IDs dot, it belongs to this screen. Okay, and this LB belongs to the first screen. Okay, but how do we refer to that? Okay, so but first, let's create another button. Uh, you can see where I'm going. Let's add another button in here. Let's call it. Let's call it. Change. Let's call it. Um, change color. Okay. Change color. You can guess what we're gonna do. So for the height, let's uh, let's give it a 2.5. Mm, I think that's all. Let's copy this and just paste it here. Okay, we have to change the on press. We're gonna call it change color, and in here the same. Change color. Okay. So let's just start the app and see what happens. Okay, you can see that we have created the button. But it does nothing. If I click on it, it's gonna show an error because in here we did a root dot change, uh, a root dot change color, and in here we didn't define our function. Define our function. So we have to define the function. It's called def dot change space the uh, change color. It takes it takes self, and in here what we wanna do? We wanna change the color of this label. Okay, we're gonna change the color of this label which is the first screen okay the label of the first screen but how do we refer it we're going to say the app the app like this uh, because what because you know what this widget this this class inherits from widget and widget inherits from this app so basically what we're going to do we're going to say the app then second screen then sec screen then we're going to say IDs, then LB, like this. Like this, we are referring to this LB. Okay, second screen, this screen, and then this LB. Okay, and let's say color. Okay, and the, the color the color is uh, is changed this way. So which color? Let's say we, wanna, we want it to be red. Okay, so red is... One o, oh, o, oh, and then for the opacity we want it to be one, okay. And uh, let's just copy this and paste it here. 
Okay. And then here we're going to change this to the F screen. Okay. Because in the second screen, we want to change this label. Okay. We want to change this label. So how do we repair it? We repair it this way. The app, F screen, the app, F screen, which is this, and then IDs, then the LB. So we know when we say the F screen, it means that if we have same uh, same IDs, that there is no problem because this is considered a root for this widget. And for this widgets, this is the root. Okay. So uh, let's just try it and see if it works. Okay. So when we switch when we switch screens, nothing happens. Okay. Let's now change the color. Now we clicked on this button, we changed the color of the second screen. We changed the color of this label, the same one, but in the second screen. Now when we switch screens, you can see that the widget has been changed. The color of the label has been changed. If we click on, now let's go back. Okay, you can see that's still white. Now if you go to the second screen and change color, then go back to the first screen, you can see that it has changed. Okay, guys? Okay, let me just show you something else okay to be uh, more thorough okay so we want to change what we want to change to let's say the app let me just uh, let me just copy this we change the color now what we want to change we want to change text okay that's on the that's on the second screen in here we are in the third we are in the first screen so we want to change the same the same as changing the color Okay, we want to change the text of the LB of the label and that has this ID, that has this ID, that's on the second screen. Okay, the app, second screen, IDs, LB, text, text is, uh, let's say, uh, color has been changed. Okay, and let's uh, copy this and paste it here. And let's say, uh, in here we have to remember that is we're going to change the F screen. Okay, and now let's just start our application. So now when we switch screens, nothing happens. The same label, the text hasn't, hasn't been changed and the color hasn't been changed. Okay, so now let's change the color. Okay, the color and the text. Now when we switch screens, you can see this is what's happening. Okay, let me get rid of this. So if you're gonna change thing, if you're gonna change the, the color, or uh, uh, if you're gonna change the color, you have, we have to get the, the text, you have to get rid of this, and also get rid of this. So it's gonna be empty. There is no label, as if it is, uh, as if there is nothing. Okay, so, switch screens now we're gonna change the color and uh, give it a text okay you can see now we go back there is nothing we switch now change color okay now you can see I hope you have uh, I hope this video has been uh, useful to you and um, that's all guys you can subscribe to my channel if you want and uh, that's all thank you guys